Hello, I'm Phil Mayer and today I'm going to show you how to install a Pentair Everpure Claris Ultra Water Treatment System on the incoming feed for a coffee or ice machine. As a brief overview, the Claris Ultra System has been designed to achieve the best balance between equipment protection and end product quality. Features and applications of this product are covered further in other videos on our YouTube channel. The system comprises of a Claris filter head with a 3 8 male connection or a 3 8 push fit connection depending on what you specify. It comes also with a Claris Ultra filter cartridge like this one and a hardness test kit. Claris Ultra cartridges range in capacity from 1700 litres for the Ultra 170 cartridge to 20,000 litres for the Ultra 2000, depending on your feed water PPM and application. You may also have an optional Everpure water meter to determine when the cartridge is exhausted. You might also have some extra John Guest fittings depending on whether you're installing on tubing or on braided hoses. If you do need assistance at establishing which size of filter you need for your application or usage, then please feel free to contact us for advice. Filter head has an integral bracket, so the first step in installing is sighting and mounting the head. Ideally, you should be looking to do this in a cupboard or under a counter near the equipment the system is supplying. Always make sure the system is accessible for cartridge changes and remember to check the clearance so there's enough room to remove the cartridge. You'll need to leave around 15 centimeters underneath the cartridge so that it can be removed and reinserted into the head easily. Many people though fit the unit as a freestanding item and they can also use it in a horizontal position the filter will work in exactly the same way no problem for installation on 3 h tubing you should have specified the 3 h push fit head fitting the tubing is straightforward just make sure the ends of the tube are cut square with no burrs and the pipe just pushes straight in if you're using braided hoses, you should be specifying the 3 8 BSP head. Connecting a braided hose is straightforward. Just make sure you've got the washer in the end before you attach the nut. The head contains an integral shut-off valve. So fitting and remove the filter cartridge is very simple. Just remove the bypass adjustment tool. You'll need this later. And once you've taken the dust cap off the top of the cartridge, simply offer the head up to the cartridge, twist, it will engage, push, twist, quarter of a turn, and the cartridge is in place. To set up the Claris Ultra system, you must set a bypass level on the dual blend valve in the filter head. This valve varies the amount of water that goes through the water conditioning media. It should be noted, however, that whatever the setting on the dual blend valve, all the feed water is still treated by a 5 micron carbon block and still undergoes mineral stabilisation. The purpose of the dual blend valve is to allow you to find the best balance between equipment protection and beverage flavour or ice cube hardness. To establish the hardness level within your supply, you'll need to use the water test kit. Test kit gives an alkalinity content value in PPM or parts per million or degrees German 
depending on which you want to use. And generally, a value lower than 180 parts per million indicates relatively soft water with comparatively little mineral content. A value of 180 or higher indicates moderately hard water. And a value of 300 ppm or more indicates very hard water. This is the Everpure Alkalinity Test Kit. It comprises of an instruction book, sample holder and a dropper bottle. To carry out the test we need 5 millilitres of our mains water, like so. And what we're going to do is add drops of this liquid until the color changes from blue to orange. Et voilà. So if we now look at our instruction sheet, there is a chart which gives us the number of drops versus the parts per million. Each drop is equivalent of 17.8 parts per million and we used in this test 10 drops, which equates to 180 parts per million. The Claris Ultra Capacity Sheet, of which there's one with each head and one with each filter, gives you the bypass level you should use depending on the ppm of your mains water. There are two separate tables, the first for ice and vending applications and the second for speciality coffee or espresso. So for our ppm of 180 and assuming we're using a system with an espresso machine, we'd set the bypass level to 6. The bypass has a factory setting which is printed on the box label. Here, they're, they're set at five. We're gonna set the bypass at six. So let's assume that you need to change the bypass level. You'll need to use the tool we talked of before. Printed on the bypass tool, are the numbers 0 to 6 and you can turn the tool to line up whichever bypass setting you need. The capacity chart also gives the capacity you can expect from your Claris Ultra cartridge given the ppm of your mains water and the bypass level you're using. Obviously the higher the mineral content the sooner your cartridge will need replacing. We're using the Ultra 500 with 180 ppm incoming mains water, so we can expect the filter to exhaust after 3750 litres. You'll need this figure if you're using the optional water meter. When first installed, the filter requires flushing to remove any excess carbon fines and freshen up the resin. The filter head includes a flush valve for this purpose. To flush the filter, you'll need a drain or bucket for the wastewater, which will come out of here. The control valve is on top of the filter head. 
and it's simple quarter turn clockwise to open the valve and flush the filter. For the Claris Ultra 170 250 or 500 filter cartridge, you'll need to flush at least 10 litres of water through, while for a 1000, 1500 or 2000 model, you'll need to flush at least 20 litres through the filter. Once the requisite amount of water has been run through, close the flush valve and the job is done. The system is now ready for use. Hopefully this has covered all aspects of the installation and setup of this system. But if you do have any questions about this or any other water filter system, then please feel free to contact us. Thank you.